North Korea crisis growing after the country tested another ballistic missile. And while that launch reportedly failed, tensions are high. And tonight the president is reacting. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ross Palumbo is live now from the White House with what he said. Ross. Well, Lori and Calvin, we know that the president was briefed about all of this aboard Air Force One on his way back from Atlanta. And when he landed here at the White House and got off Marine One, he had nothing to say to our cameras. But take a look at this. Just a little while later, he put out this tweet saying, quote, North Korea disrespected the wishes of China and its highly respected president when it launched, though unsuccessfully, a missile today bad. The ninth missile launch like this blasting off from north of Pyongyang. South Korea tonight saying it made it to the Sea of Japan, but was a failure because it should have gone much farther. The president refusing to answer questions after arriving back in Washington. The White House only saying tonight he had been briefed, but Trump saying this earlier in an off-camera interview. Well, there's a, there's, a, there's a chance that we could end up having a major, major conflict with North Korea. Absolutely. I'm concerned that the rhetoric that uh, and the ratcheting up of the rhetoric. South Florida Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz just got back from South Korea. Do you feel it's all escalating now? You know, what I'm concerned about is that the president has changed this from a um, more low key but intense situation uh, that was, you know, yep. cool. <laughs> to one that is now decidedly hot. It's very disgraceful. Reaction from the UN Security Council was swift as well. Shocking. Uh, it's a total uh, disrespect for international law and for humanity in the end. It is time for us to retake control of the situation. All of this coming just after Secretary of State Rex Tillerson made his strongest comments yet at the UN. The policy of strategic patience is over. Meanwhile, the immediate government shutdown threat is over as well. We still have uh, yeah. the same problem in one week. Right. I mean, all we did was, uh, you know, kick the can down the road. The House and Senate both voting to avoid the shutdown temporarily. And earlier, Donald Trump traveling way down the road to Atlanta to become the first president to speak to the NRA in 32 years. You came through for me, and I am going to come through for you. And saying this, taunting Senator Elizabeth Warren. It may be Pocahontas, remember that. And all of this coming on the eve of his first 100 days. It's a false standard, 100 days, but I have to tell you, I don't think anybody has done what we've been able to do in 100 days. Well, the president will celebrate his 100 days in office tomorrow with a big rally in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Meanwhile, here in Washington, D.C., there'll be an even larger rally. 100,000 people expected to attend. This is about combating climate change and against the president's current policies. We'll have the latest for you tomorrow. For now, though, that's the very latest live from the White House. Calvin, back to you. Okay, Ross, thanks.